So you know you're low in potassium and want to fix that. You probably do what most people do. You focus on getting more of it into your body. You start eating bananas, vegetables, and taking potassium supplements. And that's great. But here's the thing. That's actually also the number one mistake most people make. They only focus on intake and completely ignore how much potassium they're losing every day. And if your body is dumping potassium faster than you can put it in, no amount of supplements will fix the problem. Let me explain why this happens and what you should do instead. So potassium is one of the most important electrolytes in your body. It's involved in muscle contractions, nerve signaling, fluid balance, and energy production. Around 98% of your potassium lives inside your cells, mostly in muscle tissue, and only a tiny amount floats around in your blood at any moment. That's why you can feel all the symptoms of a deficiency, so muscle weakness, cramps, heart palpitations, constipation or fatigue, while your blood test still shows normal potassium levels. Your tissues are starving even though your blood looks fine. But here's the kicker. If your adrenal glands are out of balance, your body will just keep flushing out potassium no matter how much you eat. Your adrenal glands are two small glands that sit atop each kidney and they have a massive influence on your mineral balance. They release hormones like cortisol and aldosterone. Next to adrenaline, cortisol is your main stress hormone, while aldosterone helps your kidneys decide how much sodium and potassium to keep or get rid of. Here's what usually happens. When you're stressed, your body pumps out cortisol and aldosterone. That tells your kidneys to hold on to sodium so your blood pressure goes up and you have more energy to deal with the stress. But at the same time, your body pushes potassium out into your urine. This works fine in short bursts, like if you need to run from danger or get through an intense meeting. But if stress becomes chronic, this system goes haywire. Your adrenals keep cranking out these hormones and then your kidneys keep holding on to sodium and dumping potassium. And over time, you end up severely depleted. That's why so many people are stuck in this weird loop. They're constantly stressed, constantly losing potassium, and they can't fix the deficiency no matter how much they take in. It's why just consuming more potassium usually doesn't work. Imagine trying to fill up a bathtub with the drain wide open. That's exactly what's happening if you ignore your adrenal health. You can pour in thousands of milligrams of potassium from food or supplements, but if your kidneys are in dump mode, then it won't stick. This is also why fixing a deficiency can take months, not just days. You're not just refilling your blood levels, you're trying to refill all your cells, especially your muscle cells, while also convincing your kidneys to stop wasting potassium. That won't happen until your stress hormones calm down. So if you really want to fix a potassium deficiency, yes, increase your intake, but also work on reducing potassium losses. That means giving your adrenal glands a break. Start by lowering chronic stress. This is non-negotiable. Chronic stress keeps you in fight or flight mode and forces your body to waste potassium. So do whatever helps you activate your parasympathetic nervous system. More rest, deep breathing, meditation, slow walks, relaxing hobbies. It doesn't really matter as long as it helps you calm down. Next, support your adrenals with balanced electrolytes. Your body needs sodium and potassium to work together. If sodium is extremely low, your adrenals will struggle and that can also mess with potassium balance. So instead of cutting out salt completely, use a clean high quality one and get enough fluids. And lastly, make sure you're not magnesium deficient. Magnesium sits inside your cells together with potassium and the two need each other for retention. Without it, replenishing your potassium will also be more difficult than it needs to be. And a magnesium deficiency is just as common as a potassium deficiency, if not more. The bottom line is that if you only focus on getting more potassium, but ignore why you're losing so much of it, you will keep spinning your wheels. Your adrenal glands are the key here. Get them back into balance by lowering stress, and then all of that potassium that you're consuming will finally stick. Also, if you're using potassium to help with energy, and to improve your fatigue, please check out my recovery program in the description. It walks you through testing, balancing electrolytes like sodium and potassium, and of course, setting up your diet and supplements. It's a step-by-step -step program that goes into way more detail than my videos here on YouTube, and it includes the exact protocol that I use to get my energy back. Again, it will be linked in the description for you to check out.